Okie dokie. Alright. Here we go. Let's get into it. It's leg day today. Um, equipment, if you've got it, kettlebell. bell. If you don't have got it, dumbbells work absolutely fine. So just warming up our legs. There are going to be squats involved today. So let's warm up the hip. So keep the body still. Just pivot the leg around inside and around the outside. Just to get a bit of a stretch through this bit. Yeah, I have a feeling that today is going to be all about jelly legs. Jelly legs are the order of the day. Swapping sides. You do get to have a little lie down there. Okay, let's um, bend knee, some stretch on the inner thigh. Okay, the next one, make sure you've got plenty of space in front and behind you. Because we're going to be swinging the leg. So you're going to swing it straight forward, bend it on the way back. Stretch it up to the back of the leg, put it on the front of the leg. Nice dynamic movement. And then swap sides. This one's really nice if you've got a step and you can just let that leg hang and swing. That's really nice for lower back pain, hip pain, things like that. Keep your foot flexed so you don't kick the floor. And reach up and roll down. Just hang for a moment. Sway side to side, easing that lower back a little bit. And then head to the middle, rolling up. Still a little ruby. So, the first half, I want to kind of focus on movement patterns. The second half, we're going to up the ante. So it's very focused strength. We have got, demonstrate with the weights, the dumbbells or the kettlebell, a deadlift. Key point for the deadlift, the broomstick, hang on the I'll use this back in the Finger friends, birthday presents. So imagine you've got a broomstick, if you haven't, or get a broomstick, place it on your head, your upper back, and your tailbone. When you bend over for the deadlift, those three points of contact stay in place. So when you are doing a deadlift, knees can be soft, drive it back, and imagine those three points of contact are still there. Next one is squats, you're gonna hold the weights Close to your ball, blue. Not very contrasting colour. My weights. So squats. Exhale on the way. Forward lunge. The alternating tap. Tap if you wish. You can pick up and put down the weights. And then the last one, we're lying down for a glute bridge, which I'll demonstrate when we get there. Turn on. 
Time of 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. Starting with the deadlift in five seconds. Here we go. We're going to go twice through. So, deadlift, point in is pushing the bum back as far as you can. Soft knees, and then kick it out. Blow the feet to the floor. That will help take some of the pressure off of your back. You're not using your back to lift, you're using your legs. And that hinge movement. Each change weights there a bit like that does. So as they get heavier, remember to exhale on that hardest bit. Good. The so next one, squats again, got the, got the blue one. You are pushing the bum back and sitting in a chair, either tapping chair or just squatting. Yeah, here we go. Again, glue those feet to the floor. And then exhale, drive up. You don't have to breathe out as loud as I do. Please breathe out to show you it's the best place to do it. Anywhere you feel like you're going to go like that, you want to avoid that. So, yeah. If you're starting to strain or hold your breath, breathe out a little bit earlier. Good rest. Okay. Alternating forward lunge. We have got a 15 second rest between eight points, quite nice. If you've got one weight, you can run it down, turn it back up, and then pick it up. Or stop side, if you want to. If you balance, let's see. If you don't want to put it down, hold it up. In front of you, or have one way either side. Go as low as you can. So if that thing is just there, it's fine. You do you. You can tap the floor. Do so. Good. Okay, lying down. Feet flat on the floor. We want to have a weight. Hold it over your pelvis. Look for it. Inhale. Exhale. Drive the hips up. Straight line from your shoulders to your knees. Squeeze the bum. Close to your feet. Your bum, the more it's going to work. Those spooky muscles. Further away, the more it's going to work the back of your thighs. Good, that's for our one. Stand me up, go for it again. With our deadlifts. Grabbing the weight. Three, two, one. Here we go. So, push the bum back. Just notice my chest is going down. When I'm going to squat, my bum is going down. Notice the difference? I'm bowing for this one. Push back. Three, two, one. 
Back to our squats. So with the squats, your bum is going down more. You're still going to lean over a little bit, but all about sitting the bum down. Two, one, there we go. Keep breathing. Two, one, next. Lunges. Lunges. Ten seconds. A little bit of a shake out if you need to. Grab a sip of water if you need to. Three, two, one. There we go. You want to focus. Inhale. Exhale. Grab it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 20 seconds. You've got it. You've got it. As fast or as slow as you wish. Or to eight or two. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So I'm going to pop down and rest my feet on this step. I'll show you the difference. So, doing a glute bridge. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze. And the difference there. Or in the thighs rather than here. Still try and get the hips high. Straight line from your shoulders to your knees. Squeezing those glutes a little bit more. Oh, this one's a burner. This one's a burner. And rest. Okay, roll to size it up. Just grab a little sip of water. Oh, okay. okay. Right. So the next one, we have got similar exercises. Obviously more dynamic. We're going for 30 seconds with a 10 second rest. We're going for three rounds. So a little bit longer than our usual debata that we've been doing. The exercises are kettlebell swing or dumbbell swing or whatever weight you've got swing. So all you're doing is swinging the weight between your legs or to the side of you if you've got two weights. It's all in that hip hinge. So just like a deadlift, push the hips back and forward and you have got a drink bottle, stick it between your legs. You don't want to knock it over. So don't start squatting down. Keep that swing going. The next one, lunges, we've already done. If you want to make them more dynamic, you are down here and you are jumping. Then, star jumps. Two options here. First one, squat down, knees, feet and knees together, and explode up. Like that, pull down and back. Other option, narrow squat, alternating leg raise. That's the low impact option. Then, toe taps. Find yourself a raised surface. Have one foot tapping and then 
you can got anything, you can do high knees on the spots or stepping high knees. Let's get into it. 30 seconds. Starting in 10 seconds with our swings. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. So, arms are straight, no floppy arms. Hold of the weights. Keep breathing. Keep looking ahead. You go as high as you can. Go overhead. Great. Look out in front of you. High oh, you know. Great. Woo. Lunges. Three, two, one. There we go. I'm going to reverse lunges this time. Try and keep the hips level if you're not jumping. If you're not jumping, could you add a weight? I'm sticking with no weights today. Four, three, two, one, rest. Star jumps. Let's see how many of these I can do before I feel over. Three, two, one, and Ooh, not many. Oh. I hope it was a jelly leg one today. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. So these these kinds of workouts are fairly new to me. Ready? We're having belly toe taps. Ready? Go. We're getting stronger together. Nearly there. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, four, one. Grab your kettlebell or your weights. We're swinging. Two, one. Here we go. Ten seconds. You got it. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. So the lunge one is there for you to be able to have a rest. It's there for you to be able to have a rest. Do you use it? Can you do? Slow it down. Look out what you make it. <laughs> One rest. Star jump or narrow squat with abduction. Two. One. Here we go. <laughs> Let's just start hard and then just fail miserably at it. Then not start at all. Ten seconds. Rest. Okay. Toe taps. Fine knees. 
trying high knees, low impact. With low impact, bring knee to opposite elbow. Try and keep the elbows high. Fifteen seconds. Leave them. Okay. One more round for this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Back to those swings. I'm going to show you the video version. So, still with the hips, back, forth. Ten seconds. Can you believe it's only spring? Rest. Last lot of lunges. Keep these weights. If I'd like to pick up, put down. Oh, notice that then. Okay. So, start breathing out earlier. Three, two, one. Now, jumps. Continue with my four. There we go. Well, it's not very, very deep now, but just keep going. Keep going. Doesn't matter what level you're at, just keep going. Four, three, two, one. Pro taps or high knees. Let's go. Two, one. You can. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one, and done. Grab a drink. Oh, no. Five minutes. Perfect. Means we can spend that time having a stretch. So, can you get something? Pick yourself the bone. Push your hips forward. Pull your knee back. Start slowing the breathing down. Good, relax into it. Top sides. Keep yourself with the bum. Two foot. Push your hips forward. Pull your knee back. Breathe into it. Imagine whatever's feeling tight is expanding as you breathe in and softening and relaxing as you breathe out. Okay. 
Now, you can use surface in front of you if you've got it, or hamstring stretch. So, leg up, bending back at the hips. Otherwise, front leg straight, back leg bent, roll down like that, get a stretch back at the side. Rolling up, gently, other side. Foot's on the floor, bend the back knee. Okay, um, sitting on the floor for a glute stretch. I'm going to place my right foot on my left thigh and then bring my left thigh up. Hopefully you'll get a nice stretch in your hip if it's on the right side. I should feel like it's easing off. You can always bend that left leg a bit more. Bring your right foot towards your face. See if you can touch it. Not with your nose. And straighten that one. And swap sides. Then yeah, breathe into it. The edge of the tight area is expanding. And relaxing and softening as you breathe out. Relax the jaw, relax into it. Okay. Oh, that brings us to the end of the session. Thank you.